Well, welcome back. If you're thinking of buying a home in 2019, you probably are wondering, is this really the right time for me to do this? Got a lot of questions I know right now to make it favorable for sellers or will the advantage switch to the buyers? It's so hard to decide. Yeah, Rachel Schwab from the Equitable Bank is here with some predictions for the new year and what you should be doing if you're buying or thinking about it in the new year. Great to see nice you. Nice to see you. We were joking around that she's going to sing all about mortgages. All, yeah, about <laughs> Equitable and our low rates and getting free approval. We got the stage all set up. We're going to leave the instruments, instruments on. for me. Yeah. yeah. Here's the thing, though. Increased demand. I want you to talk about this a little bit because it's it seems like inventory is so low and a lot of people want to buy a new house or they want to move and there just aren't a lot of options. Right, and we saw that throughout 2018 that there weren't a lot of houses and if you put your house in the market, it sold like that. Um, there's going to be continued incre and, and increased demand going into 2019. So if you are an empty nester or you know, you've been sitting on the fence like, should I sell my house? Yes, you should because there's a whole backlog of people uh, that want to buy it. So definitely, um, it's it's definitely time to get get those houses on the market. Mm -hmm. What what's my pricing though? See, that's the thing. I always think, well, oh, I've got you know, there's not enough houses. I can put it for a high price. Is that a good thing or a bad? Well, I mean, it is going to be a seller's market. Um, you know, at least initially because of the low inventory. Um, but I don't think we're going to see prices rise. You know, like last year we saw there was if, if you a put a, a real boom and if you put your house on the market for X amount of dollars, you got that or maybe even a little five to ten. Yeah, you know, a little bit price. more. Um, I think it'll be a little bit more stable and you may see it switch to uh, a buyer's market at some point or at least even a little more even keel. Yeah, because that's the thing. I think it mm -hmm. seems way out of balance in terms mm -hmm. of a seller's market versus a buyer's market. Um, um, in terms of price increases, are you seeing that that's slow? It, it's going to slow down. Yeah, it is. I mean, things are stabilizing a little bit, so you're not going to see nearly the huge jumps. I mean, your house is going to still have value and it's still going to increase, but it's not going to be as crazy. All right, let's talk about the millennials because yeah. you know we can never go without talking well about I mean I've right. heard that some people don't want to buy a house like that's part of the problem is that really the case well I mean I think that was the case for a while but now we're seeing that tide turn because you know what a lot of the older Millennials now are in their late 20s their early 30s um, and they're getting married they're having families and they're like you know I loved my apartment here and there. That's great, but it's yeah. not practical for Taking me anymore. Taking the stroller and, down the stairs. Right. So it's, it's, yeah, <laughs> you're tough. trying to wash your baby in the stand-up shower. And, you know, it's just they need the, they need the things the space. that are, the yeah. space and the things that a, a regular house would provide. Do they need to realize it's an investment? It's not just where you're living? Mm -hmm. um, no, I think that they're starting to do that. And I think that's part of the job of um, places like Equitable and our loan officers and realtors and stuff is educating people who are getting into into homeownership or thinking about it is educating them that, hey, this is an investment and this is how you shop for this, and this is how you get the financing for this, and, and this is how it's going to help you and your family. I think we've gotten so comfortable with mortgage rates. I mean, they've been almost eternally low. It feels like eternally low. Right? Yeah, and so I think people think, oh, there's not a lot of pressure to, you know, either refinance or buy because mortgage rates are just low. We've come mm -hmm. to expect it, mm -hmm. but are they expected to rise in, in the new year? Well, you know, we've seen them rise a little bit and there's a lot of um, naysayers or panic out there there's a lot of people like oh are we gonna have a recession what's going on and right. and I, to that I would say you know let's relax yes mortgage rates r rose a little bit but they actually just dipped back down about two weeks ago right maybe a week and a half ago so they're a little bit lower again and while the Fed just raised rates and we'll probably see some little increases um, the rates are still that ridiculously low uh, you know right so people don't need to worry so much um, there's no panic to do it now do it now yeah, because rates are going to be 10 you know in six months it's not going to happen but they don't need to worry um, as much it's going to be a slow increase and it's still half of what I bought my first house at. So, right. <laughs> right. Exactly. Yes. so when yes. you put it in perspective of over the time, definitely I, I low. I want to talk about buying that first house though, because I know that there are young people that I know that I say, go ahead and make the calls mm -hmm. and find out about it because they think they've got to save so much money to rent. And then when I have this much money, then I can buy a house. But what is your what are your thoughts on that? Because if, I feel like you got to jump in. You, and now is the yeah, time. now is the time, and it's be prepared. And being prepared means starting in advance. So if you're thinking about it and you're not even sure, like, well, I think I need to do this, this, and this. 
Well, you may think that, but call Equitable. Ask one of our professionals. They'll tell you exactly where you're at and where you need to be, and, and they'll put you on a plan to get you to that next step. You don't uh, know what you don't know. It, that's exactly right. You don't and know, but we know, so let us help you. Yeah, right. there are a lot of things you need to do in order to be prepared. Absolutely. Even if it's looking at your credit score and things that need to be cleaned up, but definitely pre-approval puts you in, a, in, especially if it's a seller's market, puts oh, you yeah. in a position to be able to buy when you want to. So be sure to call the Equitable Bank. Set up an appointment. Find out what options are available to you, how much you can afford, what things you need to do to be in a great position to buy a new home, perhaps, or make a move in the new year. 414-777-4411. TheEquitableBank.com is the website to visit for more. Always great to see you, Rachel. Thanks for having me, ladies. Happy holidays. Happy holidays. Yeah, same to you. Too. Thank you.